All right, so now we're going to be looking at, at Ripple or XRP, right? But before we do so, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Where we're bringing, uh, you know, TAs uh, about this, some of the top performing cryptocurrencies in the market every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? So make sure to subscribe and, and hit the alert button so that you can be updated with everything that we're pulling out, right? Also, please subscribe. Please follow us on Twitter, right? You can follow me, Ali Martinez, right? Ali underscore charts. I'm usually bringing you some uh, on-chain metrics or about some of the of the top performing cryptos in the market, right? To kind of like letting you know what's going on from a fundamental perspective. Uh, you can also follow Akash at Mac and Co uh, with a zero at the end, right? Mac and Co with a zero at the end. He's usually, uh, you know, just posting some technical analysis like once again about, about the top performing cryptos in the market. And he's usually just letting you know what trade he will be jumping into so that you can also profit from, you know, the market volatility. So, you know, now that you have probably subscribed to your YouTube channel and also follow us on Twitter, we're ready to start talking about Ripple or XRP. So one of the most significant support levels uh, that, that, or I mean, used to be resistance as well, right? But one of the most significant support levels that Ripple is currently holding on to is that 1.06, right? If we go back to April, this uh, support level right now basically acted as resistance right here, right? Preventing Exaprip from breaking out until it finally, you know, basically just except it was able to slice through it but as you guys can see the correction it came down here basically right except it was held by that support level and then it basically led to another upswing right on the way down once again the one dollar with the 106 level holds a support holds a support until it cannot continue holding the, the selling pressure behind, behind this asset and then basically leads to a correction right here it acted as resistance on the way up from that rebound right goes back down acts as resistance once again and finally rejecting the 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 price action the the consolidation that we're seeing during this time right once xfp finally recovers in in late june in late in late july right that it goes all the way up to 106 what happens next Basically, the level rejects the price action, except it comes back down to support before it finally breaks through it. And then right here, acted as support, support, and now it's acting as significant support right now, right? So what I'll be looking at right now that I'm looking at the daily chart is basically for that support level to continue holding. I don't know if I would long XRP around this support level. Um, I think I'll potentially just wait for a, for a clear break of the of the 1.27 resistance and I wouldn't long around here it's just because I don't know right after all of these touches whether this support level will hold once again right um, because another breach of the support level could potentially lead to a downswing towards 91 cents or so potentially 78 cents so as of right now I think I, will, I would rather just stay away from XRP and just wait for a potential close above 127 right which could bring this cryptocurrency towards um yeah this should be black so it should bring this cryptocurrency towards 165 or potentially yeah two dollars or so forth right so as of right now i'm playing the, the waiting game with xrp and once again the most critical areas of support and resistance for me uh support is basically at 106 if I see a decisive close below this support level, then I will believe that XRP will head down towards 21, 91 cents, sorry, or 78 cents. But if it's able to rebound from this area, uh, now that it's kind of like forming this type of, uh, maybe from a lower term perspective. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I, I wouldn't long XRP right now, but I would just wait for a for a close above 127 so I can target 165, right? Because um, also if we look at it from a from a long from a shorter term perspective, right? Uh, it does seem that it could be developing some sort of uh, bear flag right here, and this bear flag will basically give you a, a target. Let's see, give me one second. So. So yeah, some sort of like bear flag like this way, right? which gives you a target of a 90, yeah, 28% target to the downside, right? Which is basically that 
78 uh, cents level that I was telling you guys about just a few minutes ago, right? So, so yeah, I mean, from a shorter or longer term perspective, I just wouldn't get into XRP right now. Uh, I would just wait for a potential downswing towards 70, 74 cents, 77 cents, or maybe 78 cents before I can long this coin. Or I will just wait just for a for a breakout above 1.27 so I could target 165. But that's that's basically my take on, on XRP. I don't know if you Akash are, are looking at something different. No, I'm still pretty much looking at the same uh, almost same levels here. Uh but I have a different approach, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah. Uh so uh I think you mentioned 1.06 level here. Uh, I'm also yeah. looking at the same level, and uh, the last time you saw XRP like bounce off of this, uh, saw a reaction where it kind of went above uh, this local low here, local top here at 1.30, but it failed to stay above it, and then September 7th, uh, the massive crash took place, and then it uh, brought XRP down to the support level here. So right now, XRP, uh, I don't like what XRP is doing here right now. Uh, as you can see, it's it's uh, hugging the level very closely, so. Uh, you can either like see this uh, like bar pattern, inverse bar pattern being formed here where it could like uh, cover all these uh, losses that it saw here and then reach the one point uh, $1 $1.4 level here. Uh, this is a possibility. I've seen this happen a lot of times. Uh, but like Ali mentioned, this could also turn out to be a, bull, a bear flag and then we uh, go down to 0 0.7 uh, something, 0 0.78, 0 0.78 level. But what I'm expecting is uh, not complicated as a, a, a bar pattern or something, but right now I'm, I'm looking at it from a liquidity level, right? So it's collected uh, this crash collected liquidity above here, here, and here. And uh, right now it's like resting here. I think uh, from a, if you think about it from a market maker's perspective, I think uh, the max pain scenario would be somewhere below the 50 fib here. Uh, I think so, somewhere below this low which is uh, 0 0.95. I think anything, uh, a retest of 50 fib or even a dip below this level, no matter how brief, would be a perfect scenario for uh, restarting the uptrend or reversal of this uptrend. And I think it's uh, this thing, uh, um, what is this? I, a 10%, 11% downswing is possible. Uh, and uh, I think if Bitcoin heads down to 44K, uh, 42K, I think this is uh, totally possible. But just to be sure, right? I'm not, like Ali mentioned, I'm not going to enter here. I'm going to wait for a retest of the 62 fib or the 70.5 fib, which would be like my ideal entry point uh, for a long. Right. Uh, but right now, uh, it is really unsure where it's happy or like the market is going to go. Like Bitcoin looks bullish, but it's but it also has this other uh, scenario where it could head down to 42k or 40 40k. So I think it's a uh, really better to kind of stay out like look at how everything resolves yeah that's about it all right all right so so yeah i mean it, it does seem like like we're looking basically at the same uh price level i mean the, the main support level underneath xrp right now is basically 1.06 right uh that's basically critical support in there but but yeah, I mean, as, as a cash said, I mean, going long on XRP right now seems like a wild bet because of how many times this support level has been tested over the past uh, month, right? And the more that a support level is tested, right, the weaker it becomes, right? So uh, a decisive close below the 106 level could potentially lead to a downswing towards, yes, yeah, 78 or maybe 74 cents, you know? Uh, which that could potentially be a good area to go long on this cryptocurrency. That also depends on the on the market conditions, right? I mean, if XRP, if Bitcoin is going bonkers, right, and is and is heading down towards the twenty thousand dollar level, and uh, then of course you don't want to go long on XRP around this price point. But as long as this market structure, uh, you know, stays like the way that it is, right, and everything remains bullish, then uh, yeah, seventy eight to seventy four maybe 70 cents could be a good area to go long on XRP to target something like $2 or potentially $3, you know, in the longer time frame. 
So, so yeah, that's that's basically our take on, on XRP. XRP Army, pay close attention to the 106 support level because that will basically tell you where XRP is heading next. And uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter as well.